Alright guys, good Noel here and in this video I want to show you how you can create Facebook adverts with just your mobile phone. I'm making this video because a lot of persons have come to ask me, they tell me how can I run Facebook ads on, on mobile, I do not have a laptop, I do not have um, access to a computer and all of that. Alright, so for the purpose of clarity, it is better for you to run your Facebook advert from your ads manager because from there you have proper control you have proper control and then um, you can you have access to a lot of features that you will not be finding here but here's the thing sometimes you just do not have access to to a computer and all of that and I completely understand but that does not mean you cannot run Facebook adverts all right admittedly the the results would, would not be the same because obviously you are going to face some limitations running advert from your mobile app because the interface, if the, the Facebook advertising system wasn't primarily designed for mobile, all right, so there, there will be some kind of um, differences that you are going to notice. But if you are starting, you can just use this to um, make sales, all right. So, I'm just going to walk you through the process and we are about to start now so if the first thing you have to do if you are on android or ios is to go to your app store or your play store so i'm on 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 android so i'm going to go to my play store so i come to my play store and then you come to the search bar you can just type ads here and it's going to give you some um, ad distance. So we have Facebook Ads Manager as the first one. So that's the one we need. As you can see, I already have it installed. I already have it installed because I use it to keep track of my adverts when I am not on desktop. All right. So one, what you have to do is to install it. And after installing it, it's going to prompt you to log in with, um, to your Facebook account, your regular Facebook account. So it's an app from facebook so it's completely safe so you just download it as you can see here it has um, over 10 million downloads with a lot of positive reviews so it's it's um like this guy says here see um, desktop ad manager is a beast why this app is a cute pet not fully capable i only use it for deleting ads i find it creating a um apps and all of that so it's something you can make do with for now until you probably get yourself a laptop or you can access a proper computer so you once you've installed it you just have to open like i said i already have my account connected so it's just going to uh, move me to my account so as you can see this is the name um, is already there as good noel all right, let me see if I can draw on that. Okay, I can draw. As you can see, the name is here already as good Noel. So I'm going to delete that. So from there, it's actually um, the ad account. So I've select the ad account is there. So if you log in with the Facebook account, it's going to pick out the ad account that is attached to that Facebook account. So you don't have to do a lot of things. If you have different um, ad accounts, they are going to show in the drop down, and you can select anyone you want. All right, so it's going to be a clean interface like this if you've never created adverts before, but if you have, you are going to see your adverts here. So you can equally use the app to just keep track of your adverts and create your adverts or delete adverts. All right, so it's, it's just a dedicated app for adverts on Facebook. So we just want to create our adverts. We want to create a new advert so you can create it from um, here, here. Can I move this? From there or somewhere here, this blocks, this is blocking the screen, but you can use any of them. All right, so I'm just going to use the green button and then I tap on it. So it's going to um, automatically pop a page here. Yeah? Let me go back. Let me close that and go back. So it's automatic, as you can see, it automatically has a page attached here and that page is connected to an Instagram account. So if you want the ad to equally show on Instagram, you have to connect the page to Instagram. 
so if you do not know how to connect the page just go through this channel i already created a video on how you can connect your facebook page to an instagram account so you can easily run adverts on both platforms at the same time with one advert and you pay just um for you don't have to pay twice <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> so that is possible because facebook owns instagram so you can run an advert from this app and it will be showing on the instagram app too so from here as you can see it has um the it has picked the page already it has picked the page but you can select the page you want so you just tap on it here and then you can see all the pages you have attached to the account and you select the page you want to run the adverts from all right so i'm just going to leave it at the one it has selected because that is me here so from here down here you can select if you want to create an advert for post engagement for video views for website traffic for reach for webs and um, website conversions or for messages or for page likes or for event responses all right so i'm just going to create an engagement campaign so i'm going to select the first one here so you can select anyone you want anyone that is okay for you so from here it shows you the post that you have on the page already so if you've created the 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 um post you want to advertise then it will show here all right it will show here and if you already have your instagram connected and you want to select the post from instagram all you have to do is um let me highlight it again you select it from here this is the instagram account and this is the facebook account all right so i'm going to close that so you select you tap on the instagram and you can see the the post you have on your instagram uh, displayed so you select any of the posts you want to use all right so now if you want to create a new post you can just tap on here here it says create post and then you can start creating your post so i have some images i've downloaded just for this video so i'm going to upload them so you select on you click on select images and then you allow it access this means I've not, I, I don't really use this app that's why it doesn't have the access yet so you give it the access to be able to assess your um, your phone storage so that it can and pick the pictures or the videos you want to use again it's an app from facebook so it's safe you can give it access if you want so now we have um this is the pictures i've downloaded so i'm just going to select uh, multiple of them okay i'm just let me select one so i've selected one so you can select as much as you want now you have to write this is your primary test or your copy so you should have figured out what you want to write here so i'm just going to say um um high quality boards high quality boards for fast sales for fast sales all right i'm just going to leave it simple but you should write something more detailed so something more enticing that people can buy so it's you send it and then your post will be ready for you to as you can see the post is here all right then you can select it as the one you want to promote but if you just want to use any of the ones you have here you can just tap on any of them so i'm not actually I'm, I'm actually not going to use that one i've created okay i'll just have to use it let's continue with that so you click on next and then we already are the at the the points where we have to create our audience so you if you already have an audience saved then you you can just select it like this one this one these are the audience the the audiences i've created before but if you if you do not have an audience you can create a new audience from here or you can you can create custom audiences all right you can create from people who engage with your um, your page or people who visited your website excuse me or people who have visited your website so we want to create a new audience because we don't have anything yet so you come here and then you can name your audience 
this is very similar to running the adverts on the instagram app i'm going to make a video about that too so i'm just going to name this um, new audience new audience so you name your audience in a way that it's easy for you to like remember or know the people you you are targeting in mind so we now have to include the locations where we have these people where we want these people to come from if you're selling a physical product and um, you want it to be people around your town so your town or your state so that the delivery will be easy for you to to do then you can just put the, the targeting within your state if you can cover the whole country you can keep it within your the whole country if you have um, a selected state you want to target then you can just select the states but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to leave it across the country but you can just um search the locations you want to put here so you can just search lagos as you can see it comes up lagos nigeria you can You can add as much country, as much states as you want or as much towns abuja abuja nigeria so as you can see this the cities are adding up there so i'm just going to add um enugu enugu states so you just add as much state as you want and then we have our loca our location set you can exclude some locations if you don't want them to show so in um if you don't want the the people in um um edo to see this advert you can put edo nigeria so these people will be excluded from seeing the advert but this will only be important for you if you were targeting the whole country and you wanted to just exclude some part of the country maybe these people they are too far off that you can't deliver to them or you don't think that they will be needing what you sell all right so you can exclude them if you want so i'm just going to um i'm just going to save that and we continue so from here you set the gender the age that you want to see this advert so you must have um done a research on your audience to understand to know the age age range that work that would want to that would want to buy this thing or that would need this thing so you set it to the age range if you are not sure and you are testing you can leave it from 18 and above all right because people younger than 18 don't have money and they will not buy so just focus on people we think would be um, buoyant or financially stable enough to buy it but i like to keep my adverts from 25 up so you can equally drag this if you don't want it to be 65 or above you want it to be precise you can drag it to the age range you want them to be so i'm just going to keep it at um 45 all right so you can select we have our our age set so as you can see we have our audience here we have our audience size we have a potential reach of 5.9 million people now we can select the gender that we want to reach so if you are selling products that solves problem for maybe just women or just men you can select the gender here but we are selling boards and boards can be used by both genders so we are going to leave it at all so we now have our audience um set or narrowed okay now we have to do what we call detailed targeting and as um interest so from here you can include people who match a particular kind of interest so who do you think would be interested in selling buying earbuds people through their behavior through their targeting you can target them so as you can see facebook has suggested people already for you so it's saying people who are interested in wearable technologies and smart technologies so i'm just i think these two two categories are cool so i'm just going to um select that too Yes, the other one. Um, I can't find that one again. So I'm just going to select this. Um, okay, that's variable technologies. So we are just going to select these three persons as our um, detailed targeting audience. All right. So we have a set, and then 
we proceed. As you can see, our audience has reduced and we have um, just 480,000 persons. And this might be too small. In short, it is too small, so it's going to wear our audience out very fast. That means we are going to be paying a lot of money with maybe very few results. So it's better to keep your, your audience broad enough so that um, you don't end up paying a lot of money without making sales. So if you have um, a broad audience, um, not very, not extremely broad, but you have a broad targeted audience, it gives Facebook the room to carry you out to different kind of persons. So let's add smart devices, smartwatch, um, Apple Watch, Sports Tracker, Android Wear, stuff like this, because these are the kind of people who would actually be needing this kind of um, stuff. So, okay, let's add online shopping too. And then let's go on. As you can see, we have 3.5 million people, which I consider perfect. All right. So I like my ad to be from 1 million upwards. So I think this audience is defined and it has a potential reach of 3.5 million people. All right, so we are done with our targeting. Now let's move to the next phase. So you click on continue and the next phase is where we have to add our payment method. So you can see this is our audience. This is our audience. Now we proceed. And this is where we have to add um, our payment method and how much we have to pay so by default it is set at 995 naira but you can run an advert of a minimum of one dollar for each day currently using the nigerian naira um to dollar rate i think one one dollar is around um 510 naira or so so that means that's a minimum advert you can pay for a day so we let me just take it to the barest minimum so you can see that you can pay now i have to go back so let's let's take it to 500 naira and see so you can um, put as much money as you want all right so this is a daily spend so each day you are paying facebook 500 to show these adverts to those guys so you can decide if you want this advert to run continuously or you want to set it to end at a particular time. So by default, it's set to run continuously, but you can turn it off and show when you want it to start. So it can start now. This, this seven days means it will run for seven days. So if it's running for seven days, that means you'll be spending 3,500 and at the tail end here, at the tail end here, you see where it's going to you see that this ad ends on 27th of August 2021 and you will spend 3500 If you do not want it to run for that long, you can reduce the days. You can make it three days. All right. Or you can make it um, 14 days. All right. As anyhow you want it, that's what you're going to do so it's um the best strategy is automatic and this is what we have um optimized for post engagement all right so we'll be charged based on engagement so if you if you are done if you like um if you think this is okay you now go to the next phase and the next phase is um i already have a card attached so it's going to if you do not have a card attached that means the next phase is going to be you putting your card details again you have to trust facebook they will only charge you when your adverts have finished running so they are not going to temper with your money so you have to add either a mastercard or a visa card all right valves don't work valves card don't work so you if you do not have a mastercard you have to go and get one from your bank or a visa card so this is how our advert is going to be showing this is an ad preview so as you can see it shows our ads will be running and people can see it people can engage with it and people can communicate with us to buy from us so it's going to show you everything that you 
you've done here as you can see i already have a card attached a master card that's why it didn't show me where to add um the card again so if you do not have your own card you're going to be adding that card so if you call, go through everything and you you are satisfied you just have to click on this um you just have to click on the place order you have to click on the place order here the green button so after that the ad will go to the reviews team and the review team will review it and your ads will be live and ready to go and once they have approved it then it's we start getting um getting to people and people will now start seeing your advert so that is how you create an advert on mobile phone on your mobile phone all right um that my friend is the end of this video if you found value in this video you should like this video so that other persons can find this video and find it helpful just the way you have and if you like videos like this then you should subscribe to this youtube channel because i make videos like this i'll be creating a video of um, this a video related to this and how you can create this advert from instagram too all right so you should look out for that one and um i'll see you soon again my name is good bye bye